What is going on everyone? Welcome to your fifth Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be working with our main method here and actually building some stuff to actually display what we've been working for in the last couple of tutorials. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you guys how to do is use this um, it's called the display mode method that I've been talking about and in order to do this we need to set a variable equal to a display mode object so go ahead and put display mode and name it DM or something simple and set it equal to new display mode just like that now display mode is going to take four parameters the first two parameters are your resolutions and this is going to be 800 by 600 and this is your X and Y now your third parameter is your bit pretty much your bit depth and this means it's either can be 8 16 or 32 um, to be safe just go with 16 right here it's not too many colors but it's a lot faster than it would be if it was 32 and the last one is your refresh rate and this means how many times your monitor refreshes and what you commonly do here is put display mode dot refresh rate unknown just like that and it should pop up if you're using Eclipse and this means I don't know where my refresh rate is and um, you know it says it right there value of the refresh rate if not known and we don't know it's it's not gonna matter really and now what we want to do is get an object of this class and I named this class Bucky so I'm gonna name it Bucky B equals new Bucky and we need the object of this class because aside from main we're gonna be building another me method and that's B dot run and that run method is actually gonna take your display mode as a parameter so that's why we need to put the display mode right here so let's go ahead and tighten this up and build that run method right here and let's go ahead and in this run method we're going to be pretty much setting the stuff what we want to appear on the screen so public void run and of course it takes the display mode as parameter so we need to make it take it display mode dm and we need this display mode because we pretty much need it to pass on the set full screen in here and I'll go over this later on this display mode in this run method is actually gonna call set full screen and you'll see why uh, right now but first thing what we're gonna want to do is set the background foreground and font of our window so set background right there and what do we want to set this background to color pink looks good and now that we got our background is going to be pink let's set our foreground right so set foreground hopefully I spelled it right to color dot white there we go that's a little better and now what we pretty much have is a pink background with a white foreground so now all we need to do is pretty much put font on it so set font I mean we need something to read so that's why and what do we want to put for font let's put new font let's make it takes three parameters Arial and font plain and um, 24 and if you don't know how to use any of these things um, then check out my other Java tutorials but you guys should know how to do this that's why I'm going through it kinda quick scroll up and now after this what we need to do is we need a screen variable and what the screen variable is going to let us do is right here you see we have the screen class right here that we built so the screen variable is going to pretty much be a screen object to let us use the methods in here so go ahead and put screen s equal to new screen and now we can call any of the methods in our screen class right here so let's go ahead and do that the first thing we're going to want to do remember is set full screen remember we built this method over here to set the window and turn it into a full screen window so let's go ahead and we actually need to encapsulate this in try blocks one of those silly little things and let's go ahead and catch exception ex 
and we won't handle it because I don't plan on messing up and let's go ahead and call s dot set full screen and for your parameters remember it takes a display mode and a JFrame window and instead of window you can just put this and in case you don't know what the this keyword means it's pretty much a reference to whatever object you're working on so it's pretty much a reference to this right here and that's what the this keyword means so inside this try block you actually want to have another try block so if this works let's go ahead and put the thread to sleep and what this is going to do when we put the thread to sleep remember when we put a thread to sleep it does nothing so once it sets it to full screen right here we want it to do nothing for five seconds that's five thousand milliseconds and if you're, if you're saying alright why would you want it to do nothing for five seconds well if we didn't have it sleep at all um, it pretty much would just set it to full screen and down here we're pretty much gonna go ahead and put let me find my finally where's my first try try right there catch actually this is gonna be finally finally s dot and what do we name it restore there we go resource screen so here's what this is gonna do and we need to catch this catch exception ex and don't handle it so here's what this run method is doing in essence what it's doing is it's changing all the font that's all nice and neat but it's changing it to full screen and then it's waiting for five seconds and then it's returning it to regular screen and if we didn't have this at all it would change it to full screen and then restore it back to normal size so fast we couldn't even tell that it was happening so that's why we need to wait we say all right once you get the full screen just wait pause let us look at it a little bit make sure we didn't mess up anything and then after five seconds you can go ahead and restore it to normal screen so I only got uh, three minutes left so let me hurry up and write my last method and that is going to be right here public void paint and his parameter graphics g and for here let's go ahead g dot draw string and three parameters first what do you want the string to say this is going to be awesome and two more are positioning and we'll put it 200 and 200 so it appears somewhere in the middle of the screen and now what we need to do is end that and let me just run this to make sure it works and I know you guys can't see it right now but my screen just turned pink and it says this is gonna be awesome in pretty much the middle of the screen and after five seconds it stopped and here is a preview of what it looks like and I actually before I made this tutorial I took a screen capture and I just wanted to test it out on my own real quick to make sure I didn't mess up any code for this tutorial but this is what's gonna look like when you do this exact same thing on your computer it's gonna be a pink screen with no title bars at the top no scroll bars inside and it's gonna say this is gonna be awesome and now you have just taken over your entire screen and now we are ready to move on to the next step so and the last thing if you're wondering why is this paint method happening if we didn't call it anywhere in our program actually we did um, not explicitly though whenever you make a JFrame it calls the paint method automatically and this is because it knows what to paint in it so in even though we didn't call paint or repaint it does this once automatically anytime you want to call it again um, manually you have to call something called a repaint but for now I just wanted to build this run method to show you guys here's how you do stuff with the window um, in our other class we're changing it to full screen making it wait for a little bit then restoring it to normal size so now we got all of our screens built we can begin doing some actually cool stuff that makes a lot more sense so thank you guys for watching I promise this is gonna get better don't forget to subscribe. We're well on our way to making awesome games. Thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.